Let's go over the crucial point of the Turkish getup that I've seen. So watch your knee when you put it underneath. So up till this phase, look at your spine. It's, you see, it's 90 degrees between the pelvis and the spine. And your foot is located under the hip which is okay now watch what happens when you slightly turn okay your knee okay your foot you're doing the external rotation at the knee look what happens to the spine okay you see this area you can see the hyperextension meaning that you change the position of the vertebras and the discs so now the load is uh, is overloading the spine now next thing watch carefully what you do you see from this point you are shifting your weight and when you're deattaching your palm you already can see that the spine is curved so basically okay this is like this i'm exaggerating and what is going to happen this is your ribs okay this is your pelvis okay so your QR ql is going to basically pull you into the upward position and we don't like when ql does the job of uh, flexing especially in the, in, in the TGU phase okay and from here on it's fine now from here let's skip from this position so this position um, you want so this is your pelvis you, this is the hip joint this is your knee this is your foot you want to glide your arm on your quad and put your arm in front of your knee so by this you actually doing like a deadlift position okay you're doing like a deadlift hip hinging now watch what's happening now you see boom your arm went sideways and from here two things happen your spine like you're twisted in your spine and uh, you see there is no base of support so if you pay attention you see how you are basically searching your palm here is searching for the floor which is not there yet so eventually you kind of fall you see this one boom you fall and again you can see from here that your spine is flexed so the discs okay and the pressure is putting them out the ribs are uh, open here and uh, the lower ribs again the ql does the job and it's very unstable uh, position especially if the bell and when the bell is heavy overhead so these are two crucial points um, for the safe and strong TGU